All right, so I have three clips on the timeline, and if I give it a play, you just see how one clip moves to the next one, and you know, it just jumps to the next clip. There's no fancy transitions. So I'm going to show you guys how to add transitions while you're editing with the InShot app. Okay, so whenever you have two videos close together, you're going to get this option here. You can also get this option if you split a video. So if I tap split and I click outside, you can see that we have the option here. So these are the transitions. You can tap on it and you're going to get a bunch of transitions. Some are free, some are paid. So they don't really show you which one is free or paid until you select it. But the basic ones are definitely free. So if I tap this one, you can see how it goes from the previous video to the next one. You can use this to adjust how fast or slow the transition should go. So. By reducing the time, I'm increasing how fast it should be. So you see it's fast this way. If I do it this way, if I bring it all the way to the end, you see how slow the transition happens. So that's just one of them. You can try other ones. You choose the one you want. This one should push it to the left, I think. I mean the right. And this should push it to the left. Okay, it's just a wipe, not a push. So for the basic ones, these are all the transitions you have. And then this is the super option, so it goes this way. Or as you can see, it is a pro version, so you have to pay to use this one. And uh, yeah, even this one, I believe it's a pro version. I think the rest are just pro versions. So anyone that has this option is a pro version, and you can't use it for free. So I believe you only have these options for free, and the rest are paid. So let's just stick to, let's see, this one. And after selecting it and adjusting how fast or slow you want it to go, then you tap here. And I'll do the same for this one. I'll choose another transition. Okay, I'll choose this one. And uh, yeah, I'll tap here. And now if I give it a play, you see how the video goes from one to the next. So that's how you add transitions while you're editing with InShot. If you guys have questions, please leave them in the comments and down. Uh, if you want to support the channel, then do subscribe to it. Alright, I'll be seeing you guys in the next video.